called. Our chicks are in the mail, so we're gonna go and pick those up. They've been in transit for a while, so we gotta make sure to get them some food and water pretty quickly, but we're all pretty excited. More chicks, yay! All right, hold the door open, please. You think they're chubby or you think that's their feathers? I think they're chubby. I think it's mostly feathers. Look like on the back of it, it's mostly feathers. Yes. So now we're home. We're gonna dip their beaks in water and food and let them get warmed up in this tub that we have set up for them. Which is next door to our little ladies over there. So I really can't tell which ones are our Issa Browns, which are our layers, and our Husky Reds, which are the meat birds. So I guess we'll just kind of split them up. They're so small. Ooh, they stand up. Man, that is a big. So it might look kind of harsh dunking their faces in the water and then the food really quick, but this helps them know where their water and their food are. Once they get a taste of it, then they'll know exactly where they are and they'll be able to go back to it and eat. If we didn't do this, then, then they would not eat and drink because they wouldn't know what it was. This is to help them. It doesn't hurt them at all. In this tub, there's a red light. In this tub, there's a white light. Red lights, they say, are good for helping them not to peck at each other. I don't really know why. But we just had one of each, so that's what we're using. It seems to be fine over here. They're not really doing it to each other. They're all huddled up over there. Mom, but why, why are we not pulling some in there? Well, we will maybe after a while once they yeah, they're already get used to it. You know? Alright, I think I've got them separated now. Kind of hard to tell. Look at this little guy. Or girl, hopefully. Look at her. <laughs> it's so cute. Watch, watch her. Woo, there she goes. <laughs> She's trying to fly out of there. Thought I'd take you on a little cellar tour today. Because I have some stuff to put away. I feel really blessed to have a cellar in this house, because in our other one, we didn't have any room to store anything. Um, and so I really like being able to stock up and can and dehydrate and put lots of stuff away for our family. Now here's the big picture. Up here is where I keep our medicine, and these are bandages and braces and things. There's our meat grinder. Here's some apple butter that we can and all of our jams. I really like canning strawberry jam. It's just so much better. There's our evaporated milk. We use this for cooking, um, and it's good too if you need milk and you don't have any. Don't want to run to the store or whatever. You just add water to it. There's uh, chicken broth. Let's see. Pizza sauce, which I need to make some more of that. These are just different candies. I dry can them with our, um, our food saver um, heat sealer. It has an attachment for cans that you can do like that. I do a lot of chips and things in jars because we have mice and they will tear things up. They will get into everything if they're not sealed properly. Uh, there's peanut butter and elderberry juice. We collected elderberries um, from down the road this summer and I made elderberry juice for medicine making. Here's all my dehydrated stuff. Um, there's mushrooms, carrots. These are 
stewed and dehydrated carrots, I put them in baby food or I just mix them with water even and just give both them that way. Um, let's see. There's jalapenos, all of our beans. Down here we have rice, salt, cornmeal, oats, and pasta. And then here's some dry milk. And there's all of our oils and apple cider vinegar that I make. I don't usually buy it, but I just make it. We keep our flour in these buckets, in our sugar too. Um, since I bake a lot, we use a lot of flour and sugar. So here's our canners, my pressure canner and water bath canner. Here's some ground beef that I canned and chicken. Here up here is my roast. I need to do some more of that. Um, this is hot chocolate mix. I just put it in the jars again so the mice don't get it. Pasta sauce, chocolate chips, lots of chocolate chips, baking chocolate. All of our salad dressings and condiments and stuff. Tomatoes. We moved here in July, so I wasn't able to put in a garden. So I just bought what we needed. Hopefully this year we'll be able to can a lot of our produce. Salsas and chili bays. I like this for making pizza sauce. And then they also have a chili base. And that's what is in here. There's cider syrup and pumpkin and all of our fruits. There's diapers, wipes, and toilet paper. You can imagine we go through a lot of that with seven people. This is just a tub I have with our pancake mix and some more pastas that I haven't canned yet. More dry milk back there. So that's basically it. Sometimes it's more full than others down here. Right now it's looking pretty bare, actually. So yeah, I'm really glad that we have a cellar down here in this house. We can store all of our food and our um, toiletries and stuff up here. You know, I think it's just important to be able to prepare for your family in case of emergency, whether that be weather, where you can't get out of the house and go to the store, or illness, where you don't feel like going to the store, it's nice to have what we need right here um, for a variety of reasons. And if, you know, heaven forbid, Jeremiah ever lost his job or something, I think we'd be all right for a while. Um, we wouldn't have to worry about buying food. We have a lot of mouths to feed, so that's really important to me. So there's a kind of security that I think comes with food storage and knowing how to preserve your own food you know, our grandparents knew how to do that stuff, and we I was never taught that. So I'm kind of having to learn everything on my own. So, But it's fun, and it's a good feeling having all this here right now. So that's our cellar, and um, just glad you could come along. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.